Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. It is an up and down, a constant up and down. And currently we see a little bit of selling pressure here after the price rallied late yesterday, nearly to a breakout point, but has avoided to break out. So our scenarios here haven't changed at all, um, especially as the breakout point hasn't been um, taken out basically, okay? So few things to talk about. Um, overall, the scenario hasn't changed, so it is possible that we're still in the wave two. I have to consider that, especially this weakness here um, at least makes us consider that, even though that's not enough to say that this is a high B wave, okay? So let's talk about the bullish and the bearish structure so that you understand the key breakout points, the support levels that now need to hold the invalidation points for each scenario. First of all, um, we've had a rally yesterday, Bitcoin rallied, Ether rallied, some altcoins rallied, nothing significant, but Bitcoin actually made a new high. So Bitcoin seems to be the strongest one of those at the moment. Um, obviously, there are exceptions. There are others that are a bit stronger, but overall, Bitcoin still leads to uh, seems to be leading the way right now. Um, Ether, however, yeah, is basically just still in this ongoing sideways range, as you can see. So we're just watching for... Um, potential five waves to the upside at the moment they are not visible yet as you can clearly see the last rally was also just in three waves what does it mean a three wave rally doesn't give us a very good understanding of the trend so it means that the trend could still be down okay so it has certainly not given um, us a very clear uh, breakout uh, yeah confirmation what do we need to see so what's the short-term bearish scenario that is pretty much unchanged even though i would actually like to adjust the structure a little bit this looks increasingly messy so what we'll do um i still would think that in the white count this is a diagonal pattern in wave c of y but um let me just adjust this or let me yeah let's keep it an ending diagonal but the structures have changed because it looks out of proportion. So best I can say or best I can tell is that this could be a one, two setup where the one is an ABC structure. The wave two is an ABC structure. It basically reacted here to um, probably a standard resistance. Yeah, wow, it reacted to the 78.6 retrace. So, I mean, let's see. I mean, this is at the moment still um, a valid scenario that we come down lower. As we intention, uh, as we as it was our intention, okay. And to be honest, here on the ETH chart, we haven't even had a breakout. Bitcoin gave us a breakout, but also on the Bitcoin chart, the structure is very, very prone to being uh, affected by surprises. Okay, so it's not an impulse that's moving, so we can't trust it. I described it also in detail today um, for channel members on Telegram and Discord, but also mentioned it in the last video. Here on the ETH chart, um, the short-term bearish count would suggest that, yeah, a wave one to the downside in wave C completed. The wave two to the upside might have completed. The wave three might be starting right now. But to confirm that, I would need to see a break below $2,169. That's the key level there, okay? Um, there is already a level that would already give us a first hint that the third wave is unfolding, that's 2,208. If that level is taken out, the third wave is likely unfolding. It would be further confirmed with a break below 2,169. Target for the third wave might be a little bit early because it's not even clear if that's actually unfolding, but um, target for the third wave. Let me take the previous FIPS out. Um, yeah, should minimally reach 2020. Okay, so that could comfortably send us into the green box. Let's see if this is playing out. However, the yellow count obviously seemingly is in control because we had that rally, but it's only a three wave rally. And, and that's even more important, the third wave there in yellow didn't even reach the 1.236 extension. Hmm. So what does that mean? That means it's it's not the third wave top yet. Can't be. Um, so that that's my minimum, the 1.236 for a third wave. Better the 1.38, which is at 2,405. So that's a short-term bullish scenario in which obviously the assumption would be that a low has formed here, the wave two bottomed here 
on the 3rd of January. This is not an impulse, it would have to be a diagonal. Why? Because the wave 1 is a 3 wave move. Very clearly, I mean, you, you see that. That's just not an impulse. So, two possibilities. Either this is a wave 2 top or... Well, or the third extends. Let me check something. Um, okay. Yeah, the only other option I would see, because this pullback doesn't really fit in, but it's possible that this is doing this. I just add it as an idea. And as support for the B wave, yeah, because a third wave would also be an ABC structure. Um, as support for the B wave, I already highlighted to you. I just gave you that support level, the orange box. Support is 2,000, yeah, 2,209, $2,210. A sustained break below that would suggest that the a yellow B wave is probably going to get invalidated and it will be invalidated with a break below the um, yellow wave two. And then white wave three is likely unfolding. That is basically what we're watching right now. Um, I'm quite neutral about them. Yeah, Bitcoin already broke out, but also Bitcoin needs to prove it by holding support. So yeah, I important is as well that actually um, I highlighted to you that really we can only start to lean towards the yellow wave count once we see, first of all, a break above the green line, because that's the previous high at 2,391. But even more important, a break above that um, December high it is at 2445. So if we if the price holds a B wave support and if we see that rally above the December high, then I will lean towards yellow and we would be looking at uh, what well, this would have to be. This would have to be a wave one of a larger third wave that can take us to $3,000 and beyond. But this would have to be the first wave of that third wave. After that first wave, we should get another corrective pullback that could be used to find positions. Yeah. Okay, that's my update about ETH. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, check out our S&P 500 and stock service. Link is in the description. Also, check out our crypto membership. You can also find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.